Good evening, guys. I'm um, doing analysis on GPJPY. Um, GPJPY is the one that you're just not going to follow technical um, until we get full um, direction of what is actually happening with Brexit. At the moment, it's too much uncertainty. So this is the one that I usually, as I said many times, this is my one of my um, favorite pair. But the last few weeks, it's just been hit and miss. And pretty much... I'm trading least amount on GPJPY. Um, but we just have to carry on um, with our setups. This markup up is actually the same as last week's mark uh, markup. So on this one, we had a um, Friday um, GPJPY rally. Um, I am not 100% exactly why GBP rally. Um, I know all the JPY rallied, but GBP actually rallied. <clears throat> Euro and GPUSD rally as well, so um, I'm not exactly sure what caused this rally. Um, but right now, let's mark up. Um, these are the, all my zone um, for buy towards here, for sell towards here. But I still do think we're going to see one more push down with GPJPY um, before we see a clearly clear rally um, rally towards one um, one five zero. So still waiting for that um, one more drop, and that's when I'll be looking to looking for my buying um, buying entry. Right now, until we, as I said, until we get a clear direction with Brexit, otherwise I'll be still towards sell. I'll be towards sell, and then I will be looking to buy um, if we see a big drop. Um, so that's that's what I'm going to do on GPJPY. Just technical. Uh, it's not much. Um, it's not much use right now, but what I'm seeing on um, weekly candle is indicating we're going to possibly see um, one more um, move to the downside before we see move to the top. We clearly see this massive move took place, which is a seven eight almost eight hundred pips movement, seven hundred pips movement, and I, in fact, it was actually more than that because the move actually moves start from here. So pretty much 1,500 pips <clears throat> rally. We're going to see a pullback on this one. And this is what I'm expecting. Based on technical, this candle here, indicating we're going to see one more push down towards here. Um, so that's my view on um, GPJPY. So let's nar <clears throat> narrow down to daily. So when can we actually look for sell? Can't jump into sell because we've got still, we had a bullish move on on Friday. So let's see where can we actually look to sell because I am expecting one more push down possibly back to um, back to um, around this area again to retest. This could easily happen depending on um, Brexit news. Um, <clears throat> anything negative we could see possibly back test, um, testing back here. So that is the reason to be careful in terms of buying. Otherwise I would be start buying. Based on technical I would just buy it for the, for the, for the, whole, for the whole year. And it was a very good level around this area. I would, have, I would have bought it. It was a good price, I would have bought it. But right now, with Brexit, I am expecting one more drop. That is the reason that I'm not going heavy on buy. If there's any opportunity, I do go short term buy, but I'm more towards sell um, because I am expecting one more push down. So when is it gonna happen? Possibly this week. Um, so this one is, we had one test at 44. Uh, 44.70 safe, we pretty much almost touched 45. Um, 45 and that was the setup I had to go sell for two weeks ago um, but we had Friday strong finish so now that if we are to sell what we have to wait for is let's see if the market get to 44 if we get touch on 44 then in terms of risk reward it would be, it would be a good risk reward um, sell position because we can put our stop just above 45 just above 45 because this is exact 45 touch and um, 45 70 touch so we'd have to at least give our trade um, some room to um, breathe so just above 45 and then we can go for sure anywhere around 44 44 50 or even back the test here that's when we can take a um, short position and target back to um, 41 or even possibly hold and see what happens so that is what i'll be waiting for to to go short this is what I'll be looking for um, to see another test here. If I see a failed test at 44, possibly 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50, 44.50,
4470, anywhere around there. I see fail test and then I will be looking to show. And a risk to reward, it would be, be a very good risk to reward. And this anywhere around here, I don't know when it's gonna be this. There is still looking at weekly, looking at what is happening with Brexit. I do have that setup is there will be one dip before we see rally. So that is the dip I'm waiting for. Or we possibly see just rally and then drop, straight drop. So I'll be more and more um, right now until Brexit direction is clear, safer to buy a sell it on rally. So you see a price rallies, that's when look to short. So that is what I'm going to do unless I see price somewhere here. That's, this is why I'll be definitely looking to buy. And anywhere around here, <clears throat> fail test, I'll be sell. Um, it's, it's showing good sign of to, signs of towards um, 50, 149.50 until what we have to get through first, get through this. So I think this is where we're gonna have one more push down around this area. So, um, around 44, as I said many, quite a few times, I'm not repeating myself, around this area here. So that's why I'll be expecting some good selling pressure and then policy, <clears throat> a lot of buying pressure coming after. So this is where we're gonna see some uh, movement here back there, two, 300 pips movement, we'll probably see there for, for coming week, unless major news come out. So this is where we'll be expecting to bounce, bounce around. Let's see if we can actually see anything, maybe on four hourly, that might give us some clue. Yeah, that would be a good place to actually sell it on Riley, look at it. On four hourly, this downtrend rallied, and, <clears throat> Straight away followed with price rejection, followed by four hourly um, bearish candle. So this one is, I mean, I would have sell it there, but no, I will be waiting for this uh, this year. If I see around there, risk reward would be good. I'll be more than happy to sell from there and possibly buy around here. So that would be that. This is where I'll be expecting the price to range um, from there. <clears throat> if I can get the pen out, um, this is what we could possibly see there. And then back here. So that is what I'm expecting on G, GP, JPY. One more test, then buy, um, sell it. This is where I'll be looking to sell. And this is, this is the area that I'll be looking to buy. So let's see um, how this week, um, <clears throat> Monday, Tuesday, let's see how the market goes. And I'll keep, uh, I'll watch out for any um, Brexit, anything for this week. At the moment, as far as I know, there isn't much, but things can change. So we'll keep that one. I'm um, just so set up is this is where I'll be looking to sell, this is where I'll be looking to buy. Um of lower. So that's my setup on GPJPY guys. Let's see if that follows. All right, thanks a lot.